Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Hello everyone. Wish you all a great day. From Dr. A. Vijay Amudameri, Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology, Chennai. As mentioned in the previous seminar, I am here to deliver a lecture on industrial IoT and its applications. What is this industrial IoT? It refers to interconnected sensors, actuators, controllers and other devices which are interconnected in an industrial setting. So these sensor networks continuously send data to an IoT gateway and this gateway in turn receives and transmits the data to the cloud application server for further processing and data analysis. Now let us speak at the industrial applications of IoT. So the first one is industrial automation. So industrial IoT finds its great application in industrial automation. Automation of machines and tools enables companies to operate in a perfect and efficient way. Sophisticated software tools monitor and make improvements for the next process iterations. Accuracy of process stages are improved at a greater level. Automation tools are used with intelligent sensor networks. They collect huge amount of data, specially designed software and applications. They analyze the data and its behavior for further improvements. Thus, the efficiency is improved, errors are reduced, easy to operate and remotely accessible through applications. Machines can operate at harsh environments where humans can't. Machines reduce manpower requirements for specific tasks. Another interesting application of industrial IoT is building automation. That IoT is used to monitor and control the energy consumption, heating, lighting, fire protection and other systems for multiple locations from a central location. Thus, a good overview of the buildings, heating, ventilation, air conditioning system status can be obtained. Edge connectivity plays another role. It helps to transfer the real-time connection data to a central cloud application with the help of protocols such as BACnet or Modbus. Thus an API is provided to collect data at specific intervals and these data can be transferred to our building automation system for central monitoring. The other applications are listed here. GPS enabled devices can track vehicles, individual crate or boxes which are on the move. Connected sensors can help to predict the maintenance needed for machinery and other assets. Industrial IoT plays an important role in inventory management. These devices bring increased visibility to supply chain and inventory for companies in the industrial sector. Remote monitoring control is another interesting application of industrial IoT. IoT sensors can perform the role of assembly line inspector. They can check the machinery for performance issues or defects and alert the managers when there is a problem. So these sensors can offer the power to remotely change the setting, activate the equipment or halt processes when there is a need. This is an awesome example. If a water pump breaks and starts to leak, you can receive an alert and immediately the shutdown protocols can be engaged right from your device regardless of your location. So this functionality is useful for assets located in hard to reach areas where it is impossible to send a technician to a distant location or it can be a time consuming or an expensive process. So this industrial IoT is also applied in manufacturing applications. Remote monitoring connections are linked to programmable logic controllers and this gives managers remote access to reports, log data along with the ability to send the commands to the machines or further instructions to human operators. And of course this is one of the interesting applications. Employee and environmental safety is also an application of industrial IoT. Companies use connected sensors to help monitor equipment usage, site logistics and of course worker safety which is a very important concern. So far we have discussed some of the interesting applications of industrial IoT. I will meet you with another interesting topic in the next seminar. Until then, bye and thank you.